Metal Driver here, and today I am looking at the WWE 60th Anniversary 4-Pack, and I'm going to be honest, I originally had no intention of reviewing this, because really there's only two figures from this set that interested me, but several of you have asked if I was going to take a look at this, a couple of you have DM'd me asking if I was going to pick it up, so you know what, because you guys have always been so good to me, showing me love and support, and also always asking for acknowledgement, so you fine folks have been acknowledged, and because because of all that support, I thought to myself, you know what, I'm going to do this for the fans, so this review is for you guys, and if you're not a regular, this video is also for you, because all of you that watch are pretty awesome. And speaking of awesome, this box looks really nice. I like this shimmer and shine that we see, almost like a holographic trading card. Side of the box features some images of the superstars, and then we get images on the back along with some information on each wrestler, but enough of the box. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and open this up and take a closer look at the 60th Anniversary 4-Pack. And here we see Hulk Hogan, Rocky Maivia, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and Becky Lynch out of the packaging. We see all the details that are on the figure, and they each come with a set of accessories that include gripping hands and pointing hands for Hulk Hogan. He has no open hands to do the ear pose, which is kind of sad. Gripping hands and open hands for Rocky Maivia, gripping hands for Stone Cold, and fisted hands for Becky. Lynch. Hogan also comes with an additional head sculpt, the only figure that comes with an additional head. Now this is not brand new, we've seen this before, painted well, looks good. I am a fan of this head sculpt, it's a great representation of early to mid 80s Hogan. And then Hogan also comes with this classic version of the WWE Championship belt. Now this is not the first time we are seeing this design for the belt. We did get that with the Coliseum 2-pack Hogan right here, but as you can see, that has the black strap, whereas this one has the green strap. So this is really nice. I like this. Not a whole lot of details on the plates, but it is nice to have that first version of the belt that Hogan held. Hogan also comes with this Soft Goods Red American Made t-shirt, which does have the Velcro on the front so you can have him do his famous pose. And then he also has Hulk Amania on the back, so I really like this. Do believe this is the first time we are getting a Soft Goods American Made shirt, so that is really nice. Rocky Maivia comes with his entrance gear, which is this top piece right here. Nicely sculpted, really well made, it looks really nice. Got some nice tassels here, the light blue and the dark blue. I'm pretty sure this is the same thing as the original version. I don't have that one. So it's nice to have this in my collection. Stone Cold comes with his Austin 316 shirt. It is a soft good shirt. And this is not the original Austin 316. This is the one that he wore at WrestleMania with his bout against Kevin Owens. So it's got that smoking skull on the back with the Texas flag over the left side so that looks really nice and there's velcro on the back i appreciate that mattel is giving us printing on the back of the shirts so that is really cool and then becky has her entrance gear which includes this headpiece here not sure what this design is i'm not really a fashion person but it does look really nice sculpted well good paint is removable and then continuing on with the entrance gear we got this nice sculpted vest looks really good not a whole lot of paint detail, it's just one solid black, but the sculpting is really nice. Good sculpting on the shoulders right here, that looks cool. And then she has this tail end right here, the skirt piece, which is nice. Love this material, this looks really cool. So it would look great as a display piece. So, so far the accessories are really cool on this set. Now let's look at the head sculpts. Starting with Hogan, we get this head sculpt that we have seen before. Really nice one, so not really complaining there. Painted really well with the eyes, the mustache, the eyebrows. The sculpting of the hair looks really good. Looking at Rocky's head sculpt, I don't think this is brand new. I'm going to assume it's the same one as the original, but it does have the true effects printing. Looks good. It's a nice representation of his debut. Good paint on the teeth, the eyes. Good sculpt on that, uh... Hairdo. Then look at the head sculpt on Stone Cold Steve Austin. This is brand new. It has a good likeness to an older version of Steve Austin, which looks really nice. Although, to be fair, doesn't look that much different now than what he did 20 years ago. Either way, good sculpt, good paint on the eyes, the facial hair. The mouth is slightly open, so I'm really happy with how this looks. This looks really nice. 
And then finally, Becky Lynch's head sculpt looks really good. It's got that hairstyle that she had briefly as a heel, which is very interesting, but it looks really good. I like the facial expression, the paint on the lips, the eyes, the eyeshadow, the eyebrows all look good. The sculpting on the hair looks really nice. So I like how this turned out. I think this is looking better than what I was expecting. Honestly, I don't know what I was expecting. I just wasn't too crazy about Becky being in this set. Although I get it. Definitely an important part in WrestleMania's history. Either way, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Look at the rest of the figure on oh, Hogan. His upper body is the elite body that we are used to seeing with 80s Hogan. So nothing to complain there. Some nice big beefy arms. Those are good paint on the wrist. He's got his classic yellow trunks. So not a whole lot of paint detail on the figure. He's got that nice orangish tan. Some knee pads right here. Dark red. Lighter red on the other side. And his classic yellow boots. So just a generic looking elite Hogan. So nothing exciting there. I'm happy with my ultimate, don't really need this. Not a bad figure, nothing to complain about. Looking at Rocky Maivia, as I said, I missed out on the original one, so it's nice to have this. So obviously he's going to have the updated articulation with the double jointed elbow, so that is nice. Torso looks good for this era of Rocky, so it doesn't need to be too bulky or big. Arms are a nice size. Good paint on the elbow pads, so that looks nice. Get that blue attire going, and... He's got some stuff on his shoulders. All right, tape is gone. Here's a look at the trunks from the back side. Got blue, a lighter blue there, teal white. Looking at the front, got the same design that we saw on the elbow pad. Paint looks really good. Nice, good, clean line work. Same design on the knee pads. Again, both look really good. And some white boots. So, a good looking figure so far, so nothing to complain here. Then look at Stone Cold Steve Austin. We've seen this torso many times before, so nothing new there. We've also seen these arms with Austin before. Uh, it would have been nice to have those bigger arms that we got with the Ruthless Aggression Stone Cold. I mean, I guess you could say this is accurate since it's an older version of Steve Austin, but he's still in shape, so the bigger arms would have been nice. Then look at the shorts. These are really nice. I love this wash that Mattel put on the shorts. That looks really nice. I like how that looks. Yeah, we don't see that with Austin figures, so it's nice to have that. Definitely makes me want to get a loose one on eBay, maybe two more, so I can have my own custom Steve Austin with different shirts. Black belt painted really well. Then you get the knee pads and the braces. That looks nice. The tattoo right here painted really well. Standard black boots. So, yeah, as I said, I would love to get another one loose on eBay or Macari. So that way, maybe I can make myself that 2001 heel Austin with the red braces. We are getting a basic one pretty soon. So, that would be cool. And speaking of cool, this Becky Lynch looks pretty cool. I'll admit this was one of the figures that I wasn't really that excited about, but seeing it in hand, I am definitely appreciating it a lot more than what I thought I would. So, good color on the attire. I like the color on the sleeve, so this is supposed to mimic a see-through black sleeve, right? I don't know what that's called. Is it mesh? Either way, I think that's a good color choice. The black paint on the top looks nice. Pretty clean line work. I don't see anything that's majorly sloppy or mispainted. Silver on the back looks good. Here's a look at the lower body. Painted nets on the legs, which kind of looks a little sloppy here. I don't know if that's intentional. Same thing over here. Now that definitely looks like a mispaint, but not a big deal. It's not the end of the world. Knee pads look good. Silvers look good right here. Or maybe, are these knee pads or is this just part of the boots? I forgot. Now here's a look at the boots. Standard boots look really nice. And while we're here looking at Becky Lynch, let's go ahead and look at the articulation. The head doesn't look that high up at all. Doesn't look that far down. Can turn to side to side and tilt very well. Shoulder goes that high up. Rotates all the way around. Bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows. A bit stiff right here. There we go. That's much better. A swivel and hinge at the wrist. Ball joint at the diaphragm, so she goes that far forward, that far back. Can't pivot very well. A waist swivel, legs go that far out, that high up. Thigh cut, double jointed knees. A cut at the top of the boot, ankle goes that high up, that far down, and no ankle pivot. Alright, then looking at the rest of the figures from the set, I'm going to go a little bit quicker on the articulation. So there we go. 
So you see rotation. Good range there. Looks pretty good. Legs go that far up, that high up, cut, double jointed knee, and let's see with the ankles, yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Now let's look at the Hulkster, okay, there's the head, shoulder goes that high up, rotates, swivels, there you go, crunches, swivels, legs, swivel, double jointed knees, a swivel ankle goes that high up but holy cow it is really stiff on mine i'm not gonna force that and then yeah no ankle pivot huh let's check this one out holy cow yeah it looks like i'm gonna have to heat these ankles all right let's look at austin goes that high up so not the greatest range there shoulder goes that high up rotates Swivel, I keep saying swivel. Reminds me of another YouTuber. Double jointed elbows, <laughs> swivel and hinge at the wrist. Crunches, goes that far back. Swivel, legs go that far out. That high up, thigh cut, double jointed knees. Another swivel. <laughs> Ankle goes that high up, that far down, and some. Yeah, actually, no, no ankle pivot so pretty disappointing all right i'm only gonna do comparison shots with two of the figures so here is the hogan from the four pack next to the ultimate hogan from the coliseum two pack with their championship belts and finally here is stone cold steve austin next to all the civilian gear stone cold figures that i have all right final thoughts on this four pack uh definitely interesting not necessarily in a bad way however I did mention at the beginning that there were only two figures that I was really interested in, and that is Rocky Maivia and Stone Cold Steve Austin, uh, mainly because I don't have the original Rocky, so this one was great to pick up, and I love civilian gear Stone Cold, but if I did have the original Rocky, then I wouldn't really care about this set other than the Steve Austin figure. Because honestly, I don't need that many 80s version of Hogan. I have the ultimate one, and I'm perfectly fine with just having that. And the Becky Lynch wasn't really interested in, although I do admit it is a lot better, and I'm kind of glad to have it. I just don't know if I really needed to spend 80 bucks on this set. That's quite a bit. So really not a bad set, just not something I was really interested in. But if you do want to have that green version of the championship belt, a nice 80s elite Hogan, Rocky Maivia, and a Stone Cold Steve Austin, then yeah, this set is pretty good. I think WWE figures are usually about 22 bucks, so $80 for four figures really isn't that bad, but still a lot to spend nowadays. Either way, I hope you enjoyed this review. Thank you for all the awesome supporters out there. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Check out my other wrestling figure reviews, and I'll see you next time.